These Buzz Lightyear toys are not just toys because one of them is a table lamp and the other is a Bluetooth speaker. To infinity and beyond! And today we are going to unbox them with you to see if they are worth buying or not. I bought them directly from China for about $1.50, so that's about USD 110. And for that amount, I am hoping for more than just a speaker or a table lamp. They are made by Martyuk from China and it says every gift tells a story. Yes, a toy story. They have a website called lovester.cn which is already kind of sus. Then I came across this paragraph. Mateo is a trendy, cultural and creative grocery brand. What? Are they selling Bluetooth speaker or blueberry sprinkles? Okay, they probably translated directly from Chinese, but maybe the products are good. Well, the Toy Story stuff are not available on their website, so you will have to find somewhere else like AliExpress instead. Oh wow, 150 USD for just the speaker itself and $60 for the lamp? That's $100 more than what I spent on Taobao for both. So if you can read Chinese and buy directly from Taobao, you can save a lot of money. Speaking of saving money, did you know that some websites adjust prices according to your location? That's when Surfshark VPN comes in to save the day by allowing you to hop around the world virtually with just a few clicks on your phone or on any other devices with just one account. By changing your location with Surfshark VPN, you can find the best deals when booking hotels or flights which is super useful for those travelling overseas so that you can save more money and spend them on more important things like buying more toys. Make sure to click on the link below for an exclusive deal plus 3 extra months using my code ZW and you will also have a risk free 30 days refund guarantee. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Alright, let's start with the bigger box shall we? Already from the box, it's quite promising. Oh, even more goodies? which means it's officially licensed by Disney according to this piece of paper. But anyone can print a piece of paper so I will remain skeptical until I have more proof. Okay, I have no use for this box. Here we have a picture of Buzz flying. Are the original Buzz something here? It has uh, some silver wordings in Chinese here. And for the back, it's broken. Oh, you can slot it back in. And here we have the shiny holographic official sticker. Well, I guess that's all the proof we need, right? Okay, more box art. Pretty, pretty stuff. They did put quite a lot of effort into this, but I don't really care. Because what's important is the product itself. So let's get to it. Ah, great. More stuff to go through. What is this? Some envelope thingy? And inside of this is more scraps of paper. <laughs> we have the manual. Uh, some stuff batch. Huh? A poster but made with cheap paper. Another poster with some instructions this time. And... Okay, wait. My, my, my lighting is so bad. Let me adjust it. Ah, nope. Too dark. How about now? I don't know what this is, some postcards and some stickers. Ah, love it. And finally, we get to the main thing. After another cardboard and some cables, Buzz Lightyear is here. Trapped in some plastic. Let me save you real quick. Ah, that's a really nice paint job. So clearly, this is inspired by the scene when Buzz got strapped onto a rocket by Sid and he flew back to Andy with Woody. Let me take a seat and reset my camera. His arms can move, but the buttons are fake. This is the range of movement you can achieve with the arms. And the dome is not movable at all. The legs as well. It is actually quite heavy, my, my arms are tired. Let me take a look at the instructions and see what we can do with it. So there are two actual buttons here, but the green one is not real. To turn it on, we press the wing button here and Pretty, pretty cool. There's some voices in Chinese when you click the blue button. And clicking the red button will slowly switch off light and click on it again to switch it off. To connect to the speaker, go to Bluetooth on your phone and connect to Boss Lightyear himself and you can play whatever you want. It's a pretty interesting Bluetooth speaker. It does what it says and even more because it has lights as well. So here's a comparison with the Thinkwave version and you can tell it's one head shorter than the original size. 
So that's something you want to think about if you are considering getting it. They do have the same exact expressions which sucks because as you know it, it's not accurate. And that's it. Let's pack things up and prepare for the next one. Honestly, there's so much more rubbish included in this. I don't get it. It's not even value adding at, at all. Like, I would rather pay a little lesser for just the speaker itself than pay $150 for all the fancy boxes and all the useless papers. Uh. Now for the table lamp. I mean, I don't really expect much from this after the speaker, but it is a lot cheaper. So maybe we won't get as many useless papers this time. Alright, another certificate I guess. And again, really nice box. You've got a friend in me. And the holographic sticker. Throw it away and open the box. Ah, I was wrong. We do have more scrap papers. With some Chinese words. Uh, talking about friends. And a map to Elle's toy barn. On an image of an edge sketch. Uh, what's the point? Let's look at the product itself. Hmm, more paper. Okay, this time it's an image of ham with cone, Rex with a cone, and uh huh? Bobip's sheep? Are you sure this is official? So, again, this is inspired by the cone scene in Toy Story 2, which Bobip's sheep did not appear in. He is pretty small, just like his Bluetooth speaker counterpart. We have the manual again, and some plastic, and some plastic. Uh, get off the table. The cone has Toy Story written on it, which. It's not accurate. And we have bars kneeling in this really cool pose. Let's turn the lights on. Uh, okay, the batteries might, might be out. I'm gonna charge it and ta-da! You can see a faint light here, turning off my other lights and... Huh? That's it? <laughs> it's, it's pretty underwhelming to say the least. And somehow the lights are flickering. It's not my camera, it's, it's happening in front of my own eyes as well. I mean, the expression is pretty cool. But everything is basically a statue. Like you can't move anything at all, not like the speaker. And there's absolutely no articulation, no wings, unlike the speaker. I guess that's why it's so much cheaper. And apparently the box is meant to be cut open so that you can create some kind of diorama, which looks like this. But I'm gonna need my box, so no thank you. Hmm, what do you think? Uh, overall for me, it's a disappointment. I don't think you should buy any of them unless you are like a hardcore fan that, that wants to own every single Toy Story merch. But if you want me to choose one, I would choose the speaker because it uh, also has lights and it's much brighter than the code. Here's another size comparison of Buzz and his little bros. Tell me which one you would buy in the comments below and I will see you next time.